Okay, so... Uh, saying please wait. I don't care. Hey, everybody! Sifro Joe here, and welcome to Ephraim's Joe Scene, the cauldron of I don't want to be enter today. Um, so a few things. One, we're using the tablet cam. I know it's worse than the real cam, but... Oh, well. And two, you might notice this bandana. This is to keep the hair out of my eyes while I'm recording, okay? Because, yeah, as you can see, the hair is getting pretty dang long. And, oh, uh, why don't you just cut it? Because I intentionally went without cutting it for this long, so it could look long. But that's another topic. Um, so today we're going to be talking about Jill Stein's recount for swing states. Basically what happened was Jill Stein raised, I think, like $7 million in order to have recounts in swing states where Donald Trump won. Now, I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I have two thoughts on this. One, the recount could be an attempt to get rid of rigging, which would make sense, okay. However, at the same time, what if they don't find anything? Then the whole recount would be pointless and $7 million would have gone to waste. And even then, they shouldn't need to raise $7 million for a recount if there's really a good chance of it being rigged. Really, my fear is that this was donated to by simply social justice warriors who could not accept the fact that Donald Trump won. Now, do not get me wrong. I don't like Donald Trump. I don't think he's going to be that good of a president. However, accepting the fact that he won is a basic understanding of maturity that many people do not seem to have and something that social justice warriors are very much lacking. And the thing is, most of these social justice warriors tend to be fairly young, like college-age campuses. And in all fairness, Trump did have a 1.6% youth appeal. My question is, though, if he had that small of a youth appeal for a good amount of the population, why wasn't it closer in those states? If his youth appeal was so small, he should have easily been able to overtake, or she should have been able to overly take Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton would have had no chance. That's how Obama won. He had such a strong youth appeal. Obama, I believe, had a 60 to 70 percent youth appeal. Hillary Clinton has a 98 percent. That's what, another third of the votes that, Don that Barack Obama didn't have, and he was able to overtake both John McCain and Mitt Romney. So I'm sitting there thinking, if all these kids really did vote, and that's why they're worried, why didn't it cause Obama to lose in 2008 and 2012? You know? Now, at the same time, I do support the recount. I want to make that clear. It's the people who are donating to it that I'm kind of worried about. Because, in my opinion, I understand the point of the recount. And if, if Trump really did win in those swing states, they wouldn't find anything to begin with. And recounts are only accessible for rigging, so it's obvious that there's obviously something going on here. I like how I said obvious twice. Basically, my opinion comes down to I understand why the recount was done. And I think it's a good gesture. However, at the same time, I feel this sets a dangerous precedent for the donators. Because it implies they won't have to simply grow up and can blame the system whenever they're the ones losing. And that's already a common flaw in social justice warrior ideology. That's what it comes down to. I'm Sifro Joe, and good night.